The purpose of this video is to show our customers that are focusing on emotional health a couple different reports and a summary report that could help you analyze the data. Log into your IHT account, click on the orange tab assessments, then go to the gray tab reports. Once that screen pops up, click on the green tab, create a new report. Then you can title it whatever you want. The first one that I'm going to show you under type is called the assessment detailed report. After you click on which type you want, then you want to set the date and you want to backdate it to the first day that you started inputting the outcomes. If you have had students transfer from one class to another or one teacher to another, you would want to use this box, include participant history. It will slow down the building of the report because it actually goes out into the cloud and it sorts through a lot of data. So you only want to click that when you need to. Then you want to select your group that you would like the report on. Then the next thing that you would do is come over here and click on whichever outcomes or measures you would want. And I'm going to pick um, a few of them here to show you the difference and what that will look like. Then you slide down to the bottom, you double check the groups, you double check the measures. If everything's the way you want it, then you click on the green tab, create assessment. And what I like about what IHT has done here is you have the opportunity to really see the measure and what was being assessed and the date and time. So accept responsibility for what she, he did. Um, if you do this multiple times through the year, you can check on growth. You can also check on when students are having a difficult time and maybe it's just a period of time that they're struggling and it just kind of gives you that outcome. So as you sc scroll down through here, you can see that I've done this a couple times so that you could see like a before and after. And then I've only did the uh, lunch period uh, one time here. And this is what it would look like. Um, if you want more information about that type of report, please reach out to your customer success person. The next report is called a custom report. What I like about the, the custom report is it allows you to download it into an Excel file so that then later on you can sort it and um, if you're a big Excel fan for using data and, and sorting through things, I think you'll really like this report. So this is what it looks like. You can download it as a PDF or you can download it into Excel and then you can sort it and do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, just a nice, quick, neat report. The last report that I'm gonna show you is called a summary report. So I go back to the gray tab report, go to the green tab, uh, create a report and then under type this time we're going to go down to assessment detailed summary and I'm going to pick just a couple of these I don't have a lot of information in here but it's going to give you an idea you can do the last time you could do the first time you could do a mean the highest the lowest there's a variety of ways you can search for the information but this is just a summary of all the kids that you've taught and the measures that you've collected outcomes on. It will tell you the total number of kids that you have assessed, and then it tells you the percentages. So I hope this helps you. Um, once again, if you need any assistance, IHT uh, wants their customers to reach out to the customer success manager and we give free webinars assistance to our customers um, whenever they sign up for it. So please reach out as needed. Thank you.